Hey guys, it's me, Connor Penn. I'm here showing you guys today how to make a wonderful sushi burrito. As you can see here, I have all of my ingredients. I have my already prepared sushi rice, my fantastic lettuce, already diced, shredded carrots, shredded cucumber, red bell pepper, avocados, and of course, my salmon. Alright, so the first step is going to be getting your fantastic sushi nori or roasted seaweed together for your burrito. This is going to be all of your layers to hold all of your ingredients together. And for this, you're just going to need two sheets of sushi nori. And it's crucial to hold these together. They take just a little bit of water and seal the binding between both of the sheets before you get started. Go. You're just gonna to wanna to leave them so that way they're a little set, nice and even. Give it a couple seconds on that until they form a really firm surface. And if there's any points that are sticking up, you're just gonna to wanna to hit it again with a little bit more water. All right. Here, let's just give that a couple seconds. So the next step in our burrito making process is we're gonna take this already prepared sushi rice, which takes many, many attempts to get perfect. So it's okay if yours doesn't come out perfect the first try. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is collect your sushi rice, Pat it out, leaving about one and a half inches from the front right here. And you're gonna wanna try to spread it out and pat it down as much as you can. And you're really gonna wanna make sure that you spread as even as a thin layer as you can. So that way you don't have any bunching or any bulkiness and you also maximize all of your rice. You're gonna wanna make sure that you just keep spreading all of it out until you use up the desired amount of rice that you cook and you're basically just gonna to wanna to make a nice little even square. Ooh, this sushi rice looks so good. All right. Just gotta work on those edges a little bit more. All right, and this should be the last and final piece for our burrito. All right. I'm just filling out the last little bits of the edges and once I have a nice little firm square as I have right here, you're going to want to start to add the rest of your ingredients and I like to personally start with the lettuce as a nice little bed for all the rest of your ingredients. And the key to making all this as good as possible, no folds and as even as you can is just making sure that each ingredient is nice and evened out. Next we're going to end up putting on our main star here, the salmon, and it's a little bit bigger than what we have right now, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off. Right. And there we go. Perfect. Going to want to lay that nice and flat. Then around that we're going to add some of the carrots we have. Now I like to use a nice little mandolin, trim those nice and thin, and then you can cut them to any desired size that you want, but I like to keep them nice and thin so that way you can work and play with them a little bit more in the burrito. And then after we have a good amount there, I'm just going to add one or two more. We're going to add the cucumbers for a nice change of color. Alright, add one or two more there in the middle. Then. We're gonna alternate back to the red. We're gonna use our red bell peppers. Just gonna to wanna to spread that out nice and even. All right. Then, of course, we have to have our avocado in there. Because who does not like avocado in any of their sushi? And then 
That's looking like a nice little layer right there. There we are. And then lastly, we're gonna finish this off with a little bit of sriracha Mexican creme, which is something that I came up with right before making this burrito because I wanted to give it a little bit of creamy texture, but I also wanted to give it a little bit of spice factor. And we're just gonna hit it with a little thin line just so that way it gives a nice little bite, but it doesn't overwhelm anyone who is tasting our burrito. All right. Then next, before we wrap any of this up, we need to hit the edges of our nori with one more layer of water. So that way it'll be ready to bind when we roll it up. Right? And even though the the um, the nori roll is a little thin, it's actually pretty strong. And you just have to be confident when you roll the next part. You just got to cup it underneath, grab with your hands, and then just start to roll with the wrists. And then once you get a nice, firm burrito shape. It's okay if you have a little bit of extra nori left over. Just take your knife and just trim off any little excess that you got until, and then just continue to roll until it's nice and flat on the bottom. All right, so then we have our nice shape here. We have the part where it's, we trimmed off right on the bottom and then we have a nice burrito shape. The only thing left is I like to trim off the ends just so that way we get one nice, neat circle. All right, we're gonna just trim off this. All right. Then lastly, for a nice little presentation, we're gonna just cut this on a bias. Pull that apart. And then voila, we have our finished and completed sushi burrito.